I've just started on my 3D printing career as part of the RC hobby and all of this fantastic stuff that you see in front of you is absolutely not mine but I'd like to ha put a shout out to somebody who deserves a bit of recognition. This is all designed, all of this stuff including some additional bits and pieces we'll look through in a second has been designed by a gentleman who goes by the name of Bosnian Bill and you can find all of the designs for everything we're going to look at in the next five, six minutes on the Thingiverse site. So what you do is you go onto Thingiverse, if you search for Bosnian Bill, B-O-S-N-I-A-N-B-I-L-L, -L, click search, you'll find all of these fantastic bits and pieces. So rather than have to try and figure out and make these bits and bobs from scratch, 3D design them, uh, there's actually some fantastic designs already there that are proven and are actually really nicely designed. So let me go through a couple of these just to give you a flavour of what is on the Thingiverse site. First thing we'll look at is actually the arms itself. Um, lots of different sizes of arms. This is a 16 millimeter carbon fibre tube and on the end of it it has his arm extension kit. Uh, really nice design. The holes are absolutely the same as the holes in the end of a standard 450 class, 550 class arm. This one's actually a HJ version and um, you can see that it actually matches it perfectly. So you can use the uh, M3 screws and they'll actually cut a thread because the holes are sized wonderfully so that um, the thread will cut into the plastic and it's a nice secure connection. But it does allow you to have much, much longer arms. So if you want to run a really low KV motor, like something like a 390 with a 17 inch blade on a 450 class, you know what, you can absolutely do it with this. The other end is where the motor goes and that's again a really nice chunky design but very light. If we put them on the trusty Hobby King scales, it's about 13 and a half grams. Um, and again, really nice design in the nut that actually holds uh, the clamp onto the rod itself it has a captive uh, nut on one side and the bolt head on the other. So again, they can just slip on. So it means that you can actually make the arm any length that you want and there's a nice stop on the end to make sure it doesn't go any further. I know Bill's looking at making some additional bits in this to go on Thingiverse. He's looking at modifying the end slightly so that you can add things like um, LED lights for all those of us who love night flying. So this is a great size to put some navigation lights on and he's going to add a couple of holes um, so that we can cable tie. And he's also looking to design some legs so that we can actually lift these off the floor so it doesn't have to rest on the battery. A couple of other things I'll talk about. Uh, here's the case that you'll see on Thingiverse for the PZ0420 camera, uh, both the front and the back. And again, I speaking to Bill, he's got some additional plans for these about adding some uh, lugs to secure the uh, case rather than have to use an elastic band or something. Um, so again, keep a watch out for that. Um, I think that's a really nicely designed piece because it lines up perfectly at the back with all, all of the ports and cable outs on the camera. And then you have a couple of other bits and bobs, things like um, a GPS arm mount. Um, so here's one that's actually, <laughs> the design is so nice that it will actually fit onto the arm and stay where it is. And you actually can then use something like a cable tie Oops, which would go through the bits and pieces and then actually connect at the bottom to make sure that it didn't move. As well as those, you have things like um, the smaller GPS mounts, the square GPS types, as well as support for things like the um, NASA LED module. And I know Bill's working on some other bits and bobs, so you can actually um, use a slightly different version of this if you want to mount your speed controller out on the arm. So in conclusion, look, big thanks to Bill for all your hard work and uh, designing this stuff and putting it on Thingiverse for free so that we can all use it in the hobby. And uh, go and have a look at Bill's design. Keep it as a favourite and keep watching, because knowing Bill, these things will just keep getting better and better. 
And you know what? It's going to save me a shed load of time having to print this stuff out. So thanks, Bill, for sending me these to have a play with. So like, subscribe, and happy flying.